Today we're going to make food out of clay. I call this assignment Pop Art Food. We just looked at Klaus Oldenburg and Wayne Tebow. And now we're going to try to make our own food out of clay. So the first thing you have to do is draw what you plan on making out of clay. So I came up with a plan. I want to make spaghetti with meatballs and a slice of garlic bread. So I need several things. I need a plate. I need some coils, and I need some little clay balls, and then I need to kind of roll out a little slab and make a piece of garlic bread. For the plate, I'm going to start with a little pinch pot. So everyone's going to get eight ounces of clay, and you have to divvy it up so that you don't use it all at once. So I need to make a plate out of this. So I'll start by just ripping this in half. And I'm going to ball it up to make a pinch pot. So if you're making a bowl or a plate, you want to start out with a little pinch pot. All right, glasses on. Here we go. So if you're making a pinch pot, first thing you want to do is make a ball, and then I get this a little wet. This clay was sitting out. Scrape all the creases with your finger so that they don't show up because what happens is when you make a pinch pot and you have those creases and they start coming apart, see what happens? They spread and they turn into cracks. So I don't want to have any cracks for them when I'm making this. So I'm going to take care of those right away. I could take care of them later, but it's harder. All right. Now it's a pretty small ball of clay. So I have to carefully push my thumb in and I don't want to push through. So I can feel there's about a quarter inch of clay. Now I'm going to start working my way around. First I'll make a little bowl. So if you're making a bowl, you can see how to do that. So I'm pushing my thumb towards my fingers on the outside. I'm only putting in one thumb, ever. Don't put your whole hand inside there. All right, so that's a little nice little bowl. I'm going to thin this out a little bit more. So by starting with a ball and working my way around, it stays circular, and I want my plate to be circular. This looks a lot better than if you were to just flatten a piece of clay and then um, cut a circle out of it. It doesn't look too good. So now I'm just going to slowly... Actually, I want to check it and make sure it looks good. I'm going to take my finger and just smooth that the lip of the bowl out. And that's what that's called, the lip or the rim. some tiny little cracks from stretching it out. All right, I'm going to look on the outside. It's the best time to take care of that. I'm just kind of rolling it onto this paper to smooth out any irregularities, bumps, whatever. That one I'll smooth with my finger. You can also take a popsicle stick and use that to kind of scrape that clay a little bit. The problem with using a stick is it leaves lots of marks, so you take your finger over that when you're done. All right, you can see I'm pretty well on my way to making a little plate, it's looking like a shallow bowl. So I'm just slowly pushing it all down, smoothing this down. And I'm not trying to do it all at once, I want to take it down slow. And I don't want it to be totally flat because I want it to hold my spaghetti and meatballs in place without having them roll away. So I you know plates at home don't have such a high rim, most don't, but this one's going to. Alright, get my finger wet. I'm hardly using any water. If you put on too much water, things get really mushy and start falling apart. Now this clay, someone had left the Somebody got into my clay bag and opened it a little bit, and it started drying out. Clay dries out pretty fast, but the clay you're getting is pretty fresh, and it's very wet still, so you won't have to, uh, you shouldn't have to worry about using water. All right, that plate looks pretty good. Now I'm ready to make some spaghetti. You know what I'm going to do before I go any, do anything else? I'm going to write my name on the bottom. 
so I don't get it mixed up with anybody else. And you should do the same. Get your name on your pieces, at least especially the main piece. All right, now I'm ready to make spaghetti. So I have to roll some coils out. So I start by rolling them in my hand. You want it to stay even, so that's pretty even so far. A little fat right there. So I'm going to roll it down. Then I'm going to start rolling it out like this. Start in the middle. Just pry, apply even amounts of pressure. The thing that happens often when you are making a coil is that it flattens out. If that happens, just kind of put it on edge. Mine's starting to flatten a little bit. Tap that flat spot down so it gets more round. All right. So I can't even fit this on my newspaper anymore. So I'm going to break it in half, put it on the side, out of the way, and I'll continue rolling this coil. And once again, this will end up being too big, and I'll just keep going. So I want it to look in scale with the plate. Scale means how something looks in proportion. If my plate's this small, I want my spaghetti to look small too. So I can't be, it has to be skinnier than real spaghetti, although I don't know, that's going to be pretty small. But if I want it to look realistic, it really should be pretty thin. So I'm going to break that in half. Now I'm going to have to roll out quite a bit of spaghetti to make it look right. Let me get my fingers just moist. My clay is starting to crack a little bit. Now if your newspaper starts getting really wet, you need to throw it away and get some fresh newspaper. But I do want you to make sure you're keeping your clay on the paper at all times. Um, clay itself is very safe, but the dust can be dangerous over a long period of time. And that won't affect you, but it does affect me because I have to live in this room all day long. So I don't want my room to be full of clay dust. That goes for your hands too. Don't When you get that dust on your hands, don't clap your hands and make dust everywhere. That's not, not going to affect you, like I said, but it will affect me if I have to breathe that dust a lot. So please don't do it. All right. Oops. Can I have a little bit? So you can see this is looking, that's about as thin as I can really make it within reason. And I'm not going to attach it anyway. I'm just going to start piling it in so it looks just natural. So I have to make a lot of spaghetti. So this is going to take a while. So I'll make as many pieces as I can out of what I have here. And then I'm going to make my meatballs and my bread. If they break up, that's fine. Real, when you have spaghetti in real life, it does break up into little pieces. I don't want a bunch of little pieces. I'm not making macaroni and cheese, but I think it's going to look more realistic. A little tiny piece there. All right, so that's starting to come together. I still have to roll these out. I'll have, I want to fill this up with spaghetti. All right, now for meatballs, easy. Make a little ball. Sometimes meatballs are huge. I've been to places where the meatball is about the size of a baseball. Um, but usually they look about the size of a golf ball or those, maybe a ping pong ball. To make it look more like a meatball, I'm going to texture it with this sharpened stick so it looks more real. Is that kind of, I don't know, this texture is like this. <laughs> so I'll fill it up with this. And if it gets out of control, I can just uh, roll it around a little bit to kind of ball it up again. Now you don't need to put any texture on the very bottom, but it might be easier if you do. All right, so if it gets out of control, just roll it a little bit. Now I'll put that on my plate like so. And I wanted to make three of those, so I'm not, I'll am not. i do that when I'm done showing you what to do. And now for my gar garlic bread. I ripped off a piece of clay. And it's already kind of flat, so I'm just going to lightly pound that flat on that side, that side. Then I'm going to use my stick like a rolling pin, go like that. All right. And in my picture, my garlic bread looked like kind of like a half of a circle. 
So it's kind of straight across the bottom, and it curves up and back down like that. And there's two ways you can do this. You can take your stick and just keep drawing in that line like that. Or you can take your popsicle stick and use it like a little knife and cut off the excess clay. Um, I think the good thing about if you draw it out with the popsicle stick like I was doing, you can get a nicer cut, but it takes a lot longer. So I'll just take this and kind of shave it off. There, it's a pretty thick chunk. It's like Texas toast. All right. There's my little piece of garlic bread. I want to round that this top end a little more. If I want it to be skinnier, I can just push it down. And then I want to put a light texture on that. That's going to go right there on my plate. Alright, so I'm off to a good start. I have the, sh the part of a golf club that you hit the ball with, the golf ball. No, just kidding. I have my garlic bread, one meatball, and some spaghetti. And I just have to make a lot more spaghetti and a couple more meatballs, and I'll be finished. That's it for our food.